Pre-game guest today is Corey Brown, who all he did yesterday was hit a grand slam. Congratulations on a good game. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was nice to get another W, so uh, hopefully we can keep it going today. For those who don't know, Corey was up in Washington for a little while and got to play in a couple of games. What was that like this year? Uh, you know, it was a good experience, obviously, getting to play three games in Miami. Um, obviously, can't go wrong. Great city uh, with a brand new stadium. Uh, great experience. So, you know, hopefully I can just continue to play well down here and get back up there as soon as possible. How was the stadium? I mean, a, a new stadium in Major League Baseball, what was it like? It was nice. Uh, I think an unexpected thing happened, obviously, while I was there. One of the days, with it being a dome, a retractable dome, uh, they left the roof open and BP actually got rained out. So that was, I guess, pretty interesting to see. But uh, overall, you know, it was really nice. Obviously, it was a great uh, scenery, lots of fans. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can get back there at some point when they get uh, back to Miami and I'll be able to have some family to come this time. The folks here got pretty excited right before you went up to the major leagues. You hit a yeah. home run in five straight games, an all-time record here in Syracuse. What was that stretch of games like? I mean, you were totally locked in from pitch one, it seemed like. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely, uh, definitely felt, you know, probably the best I've ever felt in my professional career. Um, you know, but it wasn't like, you know, I'm going up there trying to hit homers. And I think sometimes I, I tend to get big, and that's where my strikeouts come into play. But, uh, you know, during that little stretch, you know, like I said before, I didn't know that there was a record on the line when I got to four games. Uh, which is probably a good thing, so because I probably would have went up there trying every single AB, um, you know. But I just tried to stay within myself, and you know, uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to have a few good games, a nice little stretch, and uh, set a new record here. Did you think you got the grand slam last night? Did you think you had enough of it? I, th I thought I'd uh, hit it pretty well. Uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure I could get uh, some runs in. You know, wasn't trying to hit a grand slam once again. You know, I was just trying to put the ball in play because. Uh, first few ABs didn't look too good. I got a few strikeouts swinging at some uh, balls. So, you know, I just tried to tell myself to see the ball up because the pitcher last night was throwing a lot of good change-ups to lefties and righties. So I just told myself to, you know, just make sure I could swing on a strike this time. And, you know, I was fortunate enough that he left, a, uh, left one up. This is the first time the folks here have seen these T-shirts that you guys have. Who's behind that? Uh, Jason uh, Michaels actually gave us to all the, gave all these shirts to us when we were in Toledo. Uh, before he had went home for a little bit, and I think uh, I think it kind of comes with Troy would always mention it to us talking about swinging strikes. Probably mention it to me since I tend to not swing at strikes often, but uh, you know it's just something nice that uh, we have in the clubhouse and all the all the hitters I guess like to wear when we're working in the cage and whatnot. Jason Michaels is pretty much a team leader in that clubhouse. I mean he doesn't play every day. What does he mean to the team? You know he means a lot, obviously with someone uh, with so much experience, I believe 10 years. Uh, he's a, it's a great vet to have around the clubhouse and I think he does a great job of, you know, leading by example on, you know, just still getting your work in because he's not playing every day and he could go, he could go about it a lot different. And I think uh, with his presence and how hard he works uh, before the game, you know, it rubs off on the younger guys. And, you know, I just try to pick his brain here and there when we're not joking around just on certain things on uh, how to be a better player and he's helped a lot and you know just him being uh, the captain that he is and joking around uh, it definitely it helps the team out a lot. You just offended Mark Tia by did. calling Jason Michaels the captain. Well Cap aka Mark Tehan. Hi I'm Mark the Cap Tian. Yes the Mark the Cap Tian. I guess we did give it to Mark at first but you know sometimes you got to bounce it back and forth just so Tehan's not getting all the love. Corey, thanks for the time as always. Keep going, all right? All right, thank you. That is Corey Brown, Chief Center Fielder and Left Fielder tonight.